Hey there, I the Holder Fire Family. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to the Dragon Prince Season 2, Episode 9, or the final episode for Season 2. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. What's gonna happen in the season finale? Am I gonna die? No, right? Too early for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Panther. Panther? Panther. It was scary, Claudia. How you acted, I know. But now she knows the truth. With uh, her dad and sending Soren to go and kill him. And I am so sorry. But, or no. I really like the Panther design. Don't panther worry design. About me. I'll be safe. Ah. <laughs> just a panther running through the village. No big deal. <laughs> She's just like, uh. I kind of have a way with animals, mm -hmm. and panthers are actually pretty friendly. They like praise, compliments. This reminds, honestly, Ezrin reminds me of, um, oh my god, there's a really, really old, like, live action movie. I mean old, like, from, I think the 70s, 60s or 70s. Okay, not really, really old, but you know what I mean. Like, before the 90s, um kind of movie and I forgot what, I, I think it was called the animal doctor and it's like the guy could actually he's a doctor he's like a veterinarian but he takes care of animal uh that's what a veterinarian is Jen um but he talks to the animals so like there's a song where he's like I talk to the animals I speak to the animals I have a way with the like he it's a whole song about it and stuff and that reminds me like a child version of him and a friendly scratch under the chin every now and then mm -hmm. hey that's like me <laughs> what <laughs> wait can somebody try to scritch Claudia under the neck? I, I, if I was older, like if I was Ezrin, I would so try and scritch her under the neck just to see what she would do. Probably would really confuse her and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Curiosity. This, they seem kind of awkward. Whoa. I wonder if he's gonna, is he gonna bring up her, he, how he knows Harrow's dead? Like I'm wanting to know why he went to Claudia. Knowledge and power. I can provide. Allow me to earn your trust. How are you gonna do that? And how would that work exactly? Search your heart. <laughs> you knew it to be true. Just kidding. Something or someone stands in your way. Something or someone stands in your way. Who's standing in his way? I'm trying to think right now. The something. Anya? Don't don't hurt Anya, all right? I I am having a don't problem. You dare hurt a child. Some people to listen to me. To hear the importance of what I'm saying. Who importance. These people? I will take care of them for you. <laughs> they are, then we will have to get their attention. What are you going to do? So Ezrin, why are you here? Thank you, Claudia. And by yourself. Mm -hmm. I found out something. Wow, when they said they were high up, high up they weren't kidding. Oh, I, I would not be sitting anywhere near that edge. Ezra, you are already a much braver boy than I would be at that right now. Even at my age right now, I would not sit anywhere near that edge. Mm -mm, I'd probably be the behind that. Uh... Oh, it's not a, a crossbow launcher. I forgot what they're called, but I'd be standing behind that holding on to it. My mom and dad split up. I remember he Oh, we're getting backstory kind of in their, in their family? Hearing them fight a lot at night after we went to bed. And Sounds like me. Day, and then they said... Except I thought the divorce part. And Soren chose dad. Uh, How could I choose? How could I do that? And my well, yeah, because if she chose mom, then she'd be separated from Soren. I don't think it'd be an issue so much of choosing the parents so much as much as if she chose her mom, she'd be leaving Soren on his own. So that's splitting up the siblings. And if they were very close to siblings, which I'm pretty sure they were, that'd be very hard for Claudia, I would think. And Soren. My mom looked at my dad and she told me to stay. Mm. So she, she knew. She said I had to stay with Soren. Mm -hmm. That this was my home and my brother and I needed She's each crying. other. She's crying. You might have noticed my dad is pretty intense. Pretty? That's putting it lightly. He must miss her. Losing her has been the hardest thing that's ever happened. So mom is still alive. So I wonder where mom is. 
Sometimes there are changes you don't expect. And you have to face things you're not ready for. I don't think that's part of this. Is that part of the speech that Callum gave to him and then Hero had given to Callum? Because it doesn't sound like the same words, but it wouldn't surprise if it is that. That's true. Honestly, if that is from that speech, that's kind of like really fitting that I went from Hero to Callum and Callum to Ezra, now Ezra to Claudia. <laughs> like just passing it down to everyone. Callum told me that. You are so lucky. Maybe that was Callum's own thing. I'm not remembering those specific words from that speech, so I don't. Uh, uh, to have a brother like Callum. I know. Now he's crying. Hug him, Claudia. I'm lucky to have my brother. Soren is a doof, but he's my doof. He's my doof. <laughs> the little boober. Don't suck the life force out of the bird, please. That's all I ask. You don't just have a way with animals. You could talk to them, can't you? Maybe. Yes, I can talk to them. We can use that. <laughs> Stop! Don't! I need you to help me find something in the forest. Oh, uh, she's gonna... She's gonna get his help to track some kind of animal or creature down that she's gonna use for dark magic to heal Soren, possibly. Don't do that to Ezrin, because it's not like those creatures survive your dark magic thing, so... If I can find milk fruit, oh milk fruit, maybe I can help Soren. Okay, milk fruit. So you're gonna need a creature's help. I'm guessing. Mama, to... wake up. You've got to stay with me. Got to stay with me. She's crying. Ah. <laughs> and then the fact she, girl, the fact that she's like specifically said stay with me and not stay with us, cause you know Ezra and everything. Oh really? You were definitely. A so is this gonna be where Rayla gets feelings for him first? I mean, okay, granted, Callum has feelings for um, Claudia, so I wouldn't expect him to be suddenly just, you know, develop feelings for Rayla like that. But, so, okay, so Rayla's gonna have them first, and then I'm guessing Callum's gonna get them later on. It's interesting, so I wonder how this is gonna go. Breathe. Between the two of them. <gasps> Callum, you need to breathe. You oh, Sarai. It's mommy. I just want you to be okay again. I just want you okay. Uh, and I, okay, I like that. I like, I really like that, that, okay, as much as I love Raylam and everything and I ship them and stuff, I'm kind of glad that it wasn't, or not kind of, but I actually like the change that instead of it being Rayla pulling him out of this, like she's physically holding him and stuff and supporting him, but mentally it's his mom that helps him through it or is helping him through it. And I like that. That's the storm element, isn't it? No. Is that ice? I don't think that's the storm element. Is this his inner is this his inner arcanum or something attaching? Cause it that's not the moon element, I don't think, so it's not Rayla doing that. I just have to breathe. Also, this is kind of fitting or ironic considering Sarai died by not being like okay. She was able to breathe, but like considering how Varen said she took her last breath in my arms, does this tie in with that? The whole breath thing? Good tie in if that's the case, or to know something true not throwback. And deeply, you must know it with your head and hand, your heart and heart, mm. mind, body, everything. And spirit. I can't lose you like. It. Could this be a way? No, okay, I don't want to read into it like that where it's like, oh, surprise, saying like, you know, I love you with pretty much all of my being kind of thing. And she's hugging him in his mind while Rayla's hugging him in real life. So it's like, I wonder if that's kind of like a hint to how Rayla's feelings for him. This, you mean too much to me. Callum, I. No way. No way. Are we getting mad right now? Am I going to need my ship flag? Are we going to. Am I getting my ship fly? It's, 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 it's on standby if it is. I. You're gonna say L? <gasps> no! She didn't get to say the L word at least! She didn't say L! I la 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 la! But she was gonna say it. She was gonna say it. And look at her body language. She's so like, oh, I was about to say it. She's gonna wake up. <laughs> oh, yep. She's got it first. Oh. 
Oh, no, that's not a twinkle. It's one of those sleep crusties. Here. It's one of those sleep crusties. You mean the, uh, oh my God. They call it sleep crusties. We call them the sand, man sand in her eyes or from the sandman or whatever. She calls them, what she call them again? One of those sleep crusties. Sleep crusties. I might start actually referencing them as that or calling them that because that's actually kind of cute more than just, oh, I got sand, like sand or whatever they call it. Sleep crusties. Also, girl, look at that face. He's about to clean it. Oh, you like him. <laughs> you got to like someone to be willing to go and lick your finger and clean off their sleep crusties. Here, let me. I have it. I understand the Sky Arcanum. So what's the Sky Arcanum you got? A milk fruit bush. Milk fruit? I'm guessing it's gonna have like milk sap on the inside. Oh, a little baby deer! There's a family deer here. I almost forgot how deer love milk fruit. Yes. Yes, they do. What? What? Callum needs you. Do you know the What are you doing to the deer? Is this gonna be like a reversal of Bambi? So instead of mom, it's Bambi. Claudia! The way back? I've got plenty. I'm sorry if the things I did before were frightening or confusing. If they were frightening? I care about you and Callum a lot. I know. What are you gonna do? I don't. I don't like their foot. Claudia. Claudia now. You're not really about to suck the life out of baby. The whole world is like a giant primal stone, mm -hmm. and we're inside it. I'm inside sky magic. I I know this is like PG thirteen or whatever. He wouldn't he wouldn't actually make a joke because Rayla is like the moon element. He's not gonna say like even with you with your moon element. Like I'm in. I'm not gonna say it, but you know, they wouldn't make that kind of joke, would they? Actually, that'd be hilarious. I'm gonna die if they do that. That makes less sense. Yeah, okay. you kind of lost me. Moment of truth. Are you gonna jump off? Let's see if I can really do this. Collapse in it. You're gonna become an airbender? <laughs> this be a, certainly a way to end the season finale if he does this. Feel the sky arc here. Wait, it's not spark. <laughs> Even Bates! Even Bates, like... <laughs> a human can do magic without dark magic. I knew it! I knew it! Asperum. First human to do magic without Ezrin, a primal stone. Or dark... Oh. At least he didn't blow them off the cliff. That would have been bad. He was gone? That means all he cared about was Rayla. Just kidding. He was just really caught up in the magic. Wow. Zim is really emitting the storm magic right now. Love your zappy kisses. Zappy kisses. I wonder if they feel like static. I bet that's what they feel like. Figured it out? You can do magic again. That's incredible, Prince Callum. Thanks. Incredible, that's insane. He's the first human to do it without using dark magic or or anything else. Uh I know about dad. Oh, I really did miss a lot. Are they gonna cry and hug it out? Oh, the brothers. Claudia, please don't do anything to them. Are you feeding it the milk? I'm sorry, little one, but She's pulling a freaking Thanos! Man, don't you say I'm sorry, little one! No! Claudia! No, no, now that we know for sh now we have a confirmation that humans could do magic without freaking dark magic, we need, we, we need to get, we need to get Claudia on, uh, what do they call it? We need to get her, uh, in the circle of, of reformatting, whatever they, what do they call it? Um, God, I'm playing it because I'm freaking out because I don't want her to do this, um, we need an intervention. We need a Claudia intervention. Get her away from dark magic and get her on some natural stuff. You are agile, young, and alive. Oh, you need it. You need his life force for some. Is this gonna push Claudia really far? Because this is like a really big life. This isn't just like a bug or 
Like something small. This is an actual full on like mammal. And I need you. To be keeping cute, right? You're gonna do a plot twist and Clyde's not gonna kill him, right? Oh. What, what are you doing? Why are you approaching me with like orby glowy hands? <laughs> she reestablishing his nerves connection? Holy sh What if this though what if this makes it worse with Soren? What if this what if this like what if the dark magic actually is so strong here that it like um Oh what is it? Um it actually uh, not corrupt Sorn, but it it's as if he casted it himself, so he's gonna get that voice second version of himself in his head. Hey, what's this? I, I can, can feel. I can move my toes. I can move my toes. Also, did we forget that with his with him not being paralyzed anymore, that means he can he now has to carry on through with killing the brothers? I mean, unless Claudia is able to convince him not to, and they go and confront Viren, but I, um, I forgot how much I love wiggling them. <laughs> they're like, "What sorcery is this?" I can feel again. I can feel my knees and my. Uh, my let's check Claudia. Powerful thighs. <laughs> my butt. And my ribs. Ah. They're oh. so sore. Oh, I broke ribs, didn't I? Oh, oh it's horrible. I can is Claudia feel okay? You might want to, You're both. Claudia. Yeah. Claude's? Er, I don't okay? like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't. Gonna... She didn't. Wait. She didn't have that white strand before. She didn't have that white strand before. Claudia. Claudia. Here, I need a better shot of her. You didn't have that white strand. Oh no. Is the dark magic gone? Oh, there it was. There was no white. And then it it appeared. Oh no, her dark magic has gotten worse. The corruption. Hey. What's this? I can I can move my toes. Okay, wait, I need to see this real quick, actually, with Viren. Where's Viren? Where is Viren? I need to see this real quick. I don't usually I don't do this with these series, but I I where are you? You, you, you. Yeah, see you've got white here, and you've got I think white up top here, so. Is this what happens when you use too much dark magic and it starts corrupting you? Er. Oh god. You're gonna be better now. Aren't you? That's all that matters. I don't like that. On one side, yay! On the other side... <sighs> the freaking call that Sim does is so cute. Let's do this. Callum... Wait, what? That's the same sound effect they use for Fifi. That. That, like, purr or whatever. Growl, purr, growl? What? I think, Wait, what? I think that's wine. I'm not going with you, Desadia. Oh. I have to face my responsibility. Now that I'm king, I have to go home. Maybe I can help the world better from the throne. You're. Like. Well, 12? You're a little. Okay, I know you have Anya. Actually, you know what? Him and Anya would be a dynamic duo. I feel like like they'd be really strong together. Like not in a romantic way, but like um, at least not yet. Maybe when they're older. <laughs> but <laughs> right now, like I can see them just being a power dynamic, like to the king and queen of of their. Which would be ironic considering how things went last time and stuff. Like still, Harrow worked with them, but things ended badly for both the queens and the king. Now, hmm. Can do whatever I can to stop the war. But still, you're way younger than I, Anya, I think. Zim to his mother is the world's best hope. I know. And you guys will do that. You'll find his mom, and Zim will take his place in Zadia. But what if she, what if mom gets pissed and we need you to talk to her? <laughs> I wish I could go with you, but I can't. I think they're gonna need Rayla you. have to do this, but I'll see you again. I promise. I'll see you, you again. Better. I know where you live. <laughs> I know where you live. Yeah. I love you too. That seems like, don't go. I'm so proud of you, little guy. You're gonna grow up. 
you two also have that very deep connection that we saw on the ship when you two were like literally doing the same movements together. I, I don't know if separating is a good idea. I'm so strong. I'm so sad. Oh, you're taking bait too. You're taking bait too. I wish you could come with me too, but you need to go be with your mom. Yep, that's the Fifi per. Mm, I don't know about this. Poor Sim. Oh, even bait goes blue. You tried to win over the other humans with loyalty and friendship, but... No, he didn't. Loyalty and friendship? I mean, okay, the story he tried, like, when he told the story of, like, uh, of, um, I just played that on news, Saria. Um, you know, Callum and Ezrin's mom, and then, um, Anya's parent, uh, mom's, but, like, that was the only part. Other than that, at first he started off with fear. I mean, facts, yes. Like, they were factual events that happened, but it was more fear. Like, oh, the elves are coming to get us. They're going to assassinate you all or kill you all like they killed Harrow and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So it's like, that wasn't friendship and everything at first. Then he did it to try and win over Anya. And then Anya was like, no. <laughs> like, thanks for the story, but no. I don't like the star touch elf. Erevos? Or... He supports Dark Man. I don't like that. I don't like that this star touch elf supports this. That's the same, like, smoky stuff they did the, uh, Claudia did for the wolves. Are you gonna have... Are you gonna try and make it look like a, a moon? Uh, I mean, a moon, yeah, a moon shadow elf is it gonna attack Anya or something, and then you're all gonna freak out and be like, "Oh yeah, no, we got it." Oh my god! I hope you guys don't fall for this, but I feel like you are. Bring terror to Delvar. There's that white hair. Okay, so he gets it there, and his whole face goes cracking and everything with the dark eyes. So so far, Claudia is just the. Her face is fine and everything, but she gets that white strip. Interesting. So he's done this a few times with this getting worse. But I'm guessing his is just getting worse and worse, and that's what's happening with Claudia. I wonder if that makes him more tempted to use dark magic with it. To Neolandia, to Ebenir, and to Durin. Oh, he's gonna have it like each one of them are trying to sat like each one's gonna try and assassinate them or pretend to, and then they're all gonna be. I, I, want, I don't want them to- Why do I feel like Anya might not fall for it, but the rest might get scared? Oh, Viren. This canyon leads to the moon Should I call him Emperor Viren? I can't believe we're almost to Zadia. We came this far. Is Ezrin gonna pop up again? Ez isn't with us. A river of lava as you're crossing. Don't end up like Anakin. Gotta hop across real fast. The moonlight's gonna reveal it. That's cool. Just you. I'm gonna say this now. You better pray a cloud does not get in the way when you're in the middle of that. I mean, I guess no, because she said it's. She said it sinks slower. Yeah, if the moonlight gets blocked when you're in the middle of that, or honestly, once you're like probably ten feet in, you better pray. I you run. Oh, I get it. Literally. Run, run, because if the light gets blocked. He's like, yay. Run, all of you run, run. This I don't trust this. So it is much slower, but not, it still sinks. I don't like. And you're still ashen face. Interesting, he also gets like purple markings on his hand. Oh, that's right. He needed to suck the life force out of these butterflies to restore himself. So does that mean Clyde's going to have to start sucking the life out of creatures to fix that if she doesn't stop? Mm. No, not the butterfly. I'm in danger. Oh. <laughs> well, 
Ooh, his eyes go all crisp. Those are pretty. <laughs> Scary, but pretty. Is he possessing Mary? Or connected? Also, yeah, I I watched through um, um, what was it when I did the react when I edited the reaction from a couple or a few episodes ago, and they mentioned the Erebos, the I think it was the mage or sorcerer elf, Sartre elf that can, controls all six uh, elements or whatever. So that's him. So it, yeah, interesting. Okay, so he has control over all six elements, and he's also the one that created the box that Callum has, or the the Rubik's cube, the uh, you know, you know what it is, but he created that, so it's interesting. I wonder if he's gonna want that if he finds out it's still around. Like, if it's a key or something like that, I feel like he's gonna want it at some point. He looks cool though. If he wasn't like on the bad side, he's cool looking. Okay, we're just having outright night, like guard desk right here. You got one that got turned to ice and shatter, and you only got turned to ash or rocks. Baron, you're like killing him a lot. Did you just not Pip? I can destroy them all. I have all the Baron. power I need. Stop. Don't make me give the order. Don't make me have them strike you down. Have betrayed me. No. I saved you. I will stay with you. Ew. Oh, I was wondering where the caterpillar was gonna go, and I just went out. <laughs> Earworm. Oh, they're gonna find. Oh, you know, I was wondering if that's. I'm like, oh, it hit the painting that they all went behind before, like Callum and Ezra and Claudia and everything, and that's Viren's, I think, secret, wherever he has uh, Ren and everything, so. Mm. Y'all need to start running and stop taking a casual stroll through the lava field like it's a freaking park. Alright? Run. Before the sky's getting lighter. We need to hurry. If the sun rises, we won't be Now you need her. You're on lava. Just run. Stop admiring the scenery. Yeah. You're leaving Zim behind. I swear to God, if Zim falls into the lava. Okay, good. Which one was it again? I mean, I know the fierce few. Is, wait, is Zim gonna call in a storm to block block the sunlight? He does have that new power with the wait, after he got hit by the lightning, so I wonder. Oh, is this where the connection to Ezrin's gonna come in? That deep connection? He can actually hear Zim from that far? That just made me realize if they've really got ser that serious to deep connection, I just imagine them like, okay, let's say like, 20, 30 years from now when they're adults and everything. Like, they have such a deep connection that if either of them dies, they could feel that. That would be so sad. Oh, my God. I don't even think of that now. <laughs> Leave me alone. Why are you stopping? Yes, go back to Zim. He's seeing I through. See something. He's seeing through Zim? Yeah, he's got a real deep connection with him. They're in trouble. Okay, Zim, you can do this. He's telepathically talking to him? I did I know I said deep could I Okay, dang. You need to block the light. Yeah, with your storm powers. Come on, Zim. You can do it, Zimmy. He's stepping on his head, just like You can do this, Zim. This is cool. Oh, is he gonna fly? You gonna fly? Go, Zim, go! Go, little storm dragon. He's probably so confused. I forgot his name, but he's probably so confused carrying, like, Ezra going, what, who is he talking to? <laughs> Why am I doing this? He's trying to block the sun. Not physically, I think, but with this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't land in the fire. Don't land in the lava. Ah, don't do that. He isn't going to make it. The wind, the wind. Combination, the newly found powers. He's got to make a storm cloud, though. I don't think he's big enough. Oh, I guess he is. Never mind. Go, go. Yeah, go. Right, <laughs> thank you. Hug. If I may be so bold. Why are we doing this? You're a weird king, King Oh. I know. 
I'd rather have a weird king than a tyrannical one. What's dad gonna say? Dad can bite it. <laughs> but dragon horn means magic? Maybe dad not mad. Yeah! <laughs> Did he just do a haiku? That was amazing! <laughs> uh, that's cute. Oh, Zim's like, I can fly now. Or, oh, never mind. This is it, Callum. I thought he was gonna like take full advantage of his newfound flying. Zadia. It's a lot of rocks. Oh no. It's him. Who's it's him? Regan. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're cool. Wait. Are you the one from the first episode they showed that had a bit? I think that is him. Oh, please tell me this. I love that dragon's design, and it looks like him, but... Oh, you've got a scar on the eye. Yeah, I think this is that dragon, but this one's got a... If it's the same dragon, he must have gotten hurt by something. He's gotta be blind in that eye. Oh, you're cool looking. I like your design. Oh, okay. That was a season finale? Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, you got the drawings. Oh, you got Ezra crying all happy. He's like, my Zim is flying! And Zim, of course, like, ecstatic he can fly. Oh, there's, um, I already blinked on it, but the gold dragon. So, yeah, he's definitely scarred. <laughs> the guards find Ren down there, and he's just like, hi, I've been here this whole time. Wait a minute, he had a beard before. Where's his beard in the drawing, hmm? Hmm? Continuity? is cream. Um, but yeah, <laughs> finally, he's found. I would honestly think being tied up like this, his arms would be numb. Like keeping your, like having, staying like this for days on, for how, I don't know, days, weeks that he's been like that? How, like how, he hasn't even, how's he been able to sleep? Like what, like this? Like, I'm sorry, I would, the way, the fact that he stayed like all chip and happy and everything for all, for how long he was chained up. No, there's a caterpillar worm. Earworm. And there's those elf weapons. We did leave it off with the elves going to attack the kings and queens, so what happened with that? Oh, the banthers. Oh, he got pan a banther for him, so the tracker, so that way they could both ride on him. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and get in my thoughts then. All right, so my thoughts for the season two season uh, season two finale. That was good. Um, that was probably my favorite season finale so far. Granted, it's only been one other, so not much to compare it to. But so far, yeah, my favorite. Uh, dang, I wasn't thinking we'd get a confirmation or not confirmation, but we'd actually get Callum getting that connection to the Arcana magic, uh, at least for the uh, storm um, or wind. Arcanum, so I wasn't expecting that, but I'm happy that I was confirmed. So I'm like, I really feel like he's gonna make the connection, but I like that it was. <sighs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I was expected to be this soon. I thought maybe like in season three or something like that, but that means we got quite a bit of development for that because I'm sure he's gonna. I wonder, is he gonna be like the human version of Erevos? Erevos? I feel like I'm gonna say that name wrong. Erevos. Um, I feel like I wonder if he's gonna be a human version. Where he's gonna have control over six all six elements, but it's gonna like he's gotta learn each one. So right now he's starting with air. Airbender. Um I wonder which one he would learn next. Hmm. I mean he's gotta open the cube uh somehow. So I'm guessing the wielder has to have control over all six elements or a connection to all six elements for it to open fully. It can't be like all six elements at the same time. Like you can't have the different elemental creatures like all in like near it and unlock it i feel like it has to be uh from one person so hmm. oh hey how doing your walk up and say hi to everyone hmm missy pretty girl mm. Mm. hmm so you got that you got soren that's been healed but claudia's gotten more corrupted which don't i don't like that Viren, I honestly, like, I, okay. Viren is a tragic character in his own right and everything, but at the same time, he's also leaned toward dark magic. Like, like I know it's, on one point, it's not, I don't know. Viren's very much like, you, you guys have compared him to, like, there's a, 
Oh my god, what's his name from Arcane? Um, the one that Powder slash uh, Jinx looked as, like, more Jinx looked as the father. God, I forgot his name. Name, I'm blanking on it. Um, oh my god, I blanked on it. I, I need to watch like, Arcane again or just catch up on it. Uh, or not catch up on it, but I've already watched it. But, um, I need to remember his name again. Go, 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 go. Um, yeah, him. Um, it's like he, uh, Viren to me reminds me of him, but also you guys have brought up Emperor Bellos. And yeah, he's definitely, it's got, he's got that, like, one of you brought up or a few of you brought up that, like, him having a hero complex. Like, he thinks he's the hero if he does something. So, like, one side, it's like he truly wants, to, like, with uh, Sarai, he wanted to truly help her on one side. But the other side, he's like, if I do this and I save her, I'm going to be a hero and they're going to revere me and everything. And I want that. So, it's kind of like he's got the ego and then he's got the, like, actual wanting to help and everything. And it's just like... The darkness, I'm sure, or the dark magic or whatever, I'm sure is fed off of that. And it's more leading him toward, or whisper that in his ear, like, if you do this, you're going to become be a hero and stuff. If you use dark magic and you, like, do it. But it makes him think he's doing the right thing or whatever. And so it's like, Viren, I like his character. I don't, like, hate him. It's not like, oh, he's, you know, a bad guy. He's despicable. He's all this stuff. It's just kind of like he's a tragic character. It's almost like Anakin being going down the wrong path. <laughs> No, that made me feel like more like Claudia, actually, which I don't want to see that happen to her. I don't want to see Claudia be like an Anakin kind of thing. Um, anyway, but Anakin was different, too, but it's just like that kind of path, and I just... Mm. Viren's like... It's Viren, it's almost like it's too late, and I don't... The only ones I could see possibly trying to bring him back would be Claudia and Soren, but other than that, I can't see anyone else having that an effect on him. Um, so, I think it's too late for Viren, possibly. I, at least as it is now. But for, um, yeah, Erevos is definitely not a good guy. Like, Erevos Arev does not feel like he has good intentions. Like, they lo the king and queen locked him away for a reason in that mirror. And, yeah, I think it's because he was too dangerous or something like that. Or he did something to break a law or a rule. Hmm. We had Rayla almost saying that she, I, I... Pretty sure she was about to say I love you, Callum. So we got Rayla showing that she's got feelings for Callum. Um, so I'm curious on see how that's gonna proceed from here or develop from here. Um, you have Ezra and you got the Ezra and Zim connection and how deep that goes, and the fact that he can actually communicate and like communicate telepathically to Zim and also see through his eyes and everything. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff in this episode, honestly. Yeah, like, I'm definitely excited to see what's gonna happen in season three. But I know some of you have uh, mentioned that I read. I got, I got, you know, what? I've got it here. I saved like a screen of if you guys' comments for that, so that way I didn't forget. Um, where is it? Uh, where did you go? That's right, it's in the Dragon Prince folder. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, Puzzle House. So Puzzle House. Okay, uh, Puzzle House. Okay, Puzzle House is the one I need to read. And then Blood Moon Huntress, which is uh, after episode three of season three due to a particular character, so they don't spoil anything. But then um, Through the Moon, though, tells about events between season three and four. So if you read it now, you'll get major spoilers. So that one I will avoid. I will not read that. But there is uh, Puzzle House I'll make sure to read. Uh, Blood Moon Huntress, I believe... So. Uh, but then he's one of you say actually I think the episode of season three is even more powerful if you read the Blood Moon Hunters first because you can how, see how close Rayla is to that particular character so okay so before episode three of episode three of next season I will like the episode prior or actually I think what I'll do is before reacting to episode three of next season um I will read the Blood Moon Hunters but like um the puzzle house I'll read sometime between now and then um so that way i'm more aware of like the perspectives of the characters and, and those kind of things and yeah thank you guys for or thank you to those of you who bring those up because i would have never known books like that exist or or you know those kind of things um and i i, I definitely enjoy the series enough that i'm like yeah i'm interested to see what the uh, other characters perspective especially veerance i'm very curious on how his mind works and what's going on in there because we don't really see like fully like what he's thinking and stuff so, I'm curious on that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, overall, 
plot in this episode was great, characters were great, animation, you know, the animation is good for this series, but still not at a point where I'm like, oh, it's got great, amazing animation. So I would say still good animation. Um, music was good. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, season two is definitely my favorite season so far. And the season finale is my favorite. Um, and I'm looking forward to season three. So those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you like early access to my phone and your reactions, go join my Patreon. I'll put a link to it somewhere about here in the corner, far corner I found out for a card is where it'll pop up. I thought I could move it, but yeah, no, it's stuck in like a far corner over here. But anyway, yeah, uh, I hope you have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep burning bright. See ya. Let me check this instead too. Ow! Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I got caught. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. <laughs>